takes a fair bit of strength to carry a great sword like that. But can you use it? Need a blade? We should talk to Adrian at the forge. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. You're... hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hunt. The city's ruled, but you're probably more interested in... hmm. I'd say we're... The city's ruled, but you're probably more interested in your Vasker. Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds... A man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. <clears throat> Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Then come back when you've got that much. Ride strong. Come to chat with an old woman. Mm -hmm. A nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. You better know how to use that weapon if you plan on swinging it around in here. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Take a look. Thank you very much for your business. I've got your back. I am at your command.
How can I serve you, my Thane? Get going then. Hello, friend. In the market for bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming... rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Farewell. Got the f man like you needs a war. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you got the coin. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Ride strong.
Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Observing and capturing the epic struggle for Skyrim. When brothers clash with bitter blades, surely there is a song to be found. Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent dame, well, let's just say, best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. For a generous fellow traveler. But of course, what would you like to hear? Ismir's blessing on you. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come. The life of adventure for a generous fellow traveler. Only true Imperials request that one. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth, to days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we'll take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we'll drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Sovereign Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. The life of adventure and song is the life for us, eh, friend?
Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. What could it mean? By the gods, you disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Trouble? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead, I'll follow. Guard my... I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not... Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Be Aren't careful the gray beards expecting some supplies? Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the Greybeards know. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Have Honestly, I'm not day. certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day.
Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Yeah? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Mm-hmm. Yes? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Until next time.
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the Voice of the Sky, strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer self. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn word. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You 
must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Breath and focus. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori.
a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means well. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bori. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Boy. Huh? X. Wolf. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project a, a few more what you have. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the... Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when, for most people, but for you, the dragon speech is in your blood. Five. Our leader, Potanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkorn. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a 
master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. We very few, but in your case, Dragonborn, their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been true mark in the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. That your destiny, if you remember to use your voice in service, the voice, although this gift true mark in the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this battle. Sky. Huh? 